Hi, it's Amy. Um, I showed you how to make the Eileen Hall slotted treat box into a suitcase. Um, and now I wanted to show you how you can take that suitcase and make it into a sewing box. So um, if you want to know how to make this suitcase, uh, check out um, the video that I pre previously posted. Um, and now I've created a, um, another version of, uh, just in a different color way, of that same um, suitcase. Uh, to convert this or sort of make this into a um, sewing box, one of the things that I'm going to do is to add a new bottom and top to to the to the box um, inside. And in order to do that, you need to cut two uh, more pieces of um, chipboard covered with the paper that you want to use for this. Um, and you want to cut them six and a quarter by four and um, three quarters. And that will be just about the right size for it to fit um, in the bottom there and then the top here. There are two things that, two reasons that I want to have those um, new uh, tops and bottoms in there. One is that I'm going to add elastic and um, put uh, a pair of scissors on the top lid part and then also um, a threader here. You can also, add, on another version that I made, I, I added a magnet so that um, the needles and pens could, could be attached um, at the top. I'm not going to do with that for this one, but you certainly could if you if you'd like. Um, instead, I'm just going to put a pin cushion in the box uh, for pins and needles. So that's one thing I'm going to do is put eyelets and elastic through to hold those two things. Um, and I'll show you those in a minute. And then I don't really want the box top to just open like this. I would like for it to open sort of like a a suitcase in this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this Rick Rack um, and I'm going to take one end of the of the length of Rick Rack and glue it behind that panel there and then I'm going to take the other end at the length that will hold it open at that 90 degree angle and I'm going to glue that to the bottom underneath the bottom panel. So I will go ahead and trim that to about the length that I want. Okay, and I'll do that part first. And by putting the panel over it after I've glued it, it will just hold it in place. Um, and you know, you've seen suitcases that sort of have this, uh, especially old ones, had that kind of um, ribbon or some kind of um something a cord or something that would hold it in place so that's the first thing i'm going to do and i'm going to use a strong glue i'm going to use um beacon three and one to do that so i'll start up here just put a little bit of glue this is just to get it started um and then when i put that lid the inside box part over it that will really um, secure it. And in the bottom I'll put some glue too. And then hold your box open where, you know, however far you want it to be open. Make sure you make that ribbon go all the way to the, or the Rick back go all the way to the edge or whatever you're using. Make that go all the way to the edge there. Okay, and then um, that's all I needed the bottom panel for. So I'm going to go ahead and um, glue that on. I'm going to close this because I don't want it to fall back while it's still, that glue is still setting. So I'm going to use the same uh, Beacon 3-in-1. That's a lot of glue, and um, I'm going to put that in, just let that fall. Okay, and so uh, with the top, um, I want to add um, eyelets and then elastic through it. And I would like for the elastic to hold this uh, needle threader. I got this from Hobby Lobby. So what you do with these uh, needle threaders, I don't know if you can tell, you put this through the needle um, 
I'm not sure I have any here, but you th put it through the eye of the needle and then you thread it. And then when you pull that back through, your needle is threaded nice and um, easily. So it's really a handy thing to have, especially if you're using needles with tiny, um, tiny eyes. So I'm going to put that about right there. And then I have these cute scissors and I'm going to put them about right there. Okay. So I'm sort of going to place them about where where I think I'd like to have them. I'm going to take a pencil and mark about where I would like the eyelets to go. So maybe about there and there. And then for this one, maybe about here and here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use the Big Bite to make holes uh, where I just marked. Um, these are three sixteenth holes. And I'm going to make one there. And I just thought of a way to make sure they're about to even, and that's to, to use this guide. Um, the Big Bite has a guide that goes up and down. Um, but if I keep that at the same place that I used there, and I think it's a little bit, let me see, I'll put it down in the hole and then move it there. Okay. And then move it over. Okay. And now those two holes are pretty much lined up. And I think I'll just go ahead and use that same measurement here. Okay. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to, oh, I need the big bite back. I'm going to set these eyelets. I'm just going to go ahead and place them where I'd like them to be. I'm going to use those flower shaped for the needle threader and I'll use these green ones. These are um, eyelets from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. All right, that's my eyelet set. And now I'm going to use this um, elastic cord, soft elastic cord that I just got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna cut two lengths of it, just about that long. I'll probably end up trimming it again. And what I'm gonna do is just take that elastic through. I'm gonna tie it pretty tight because I want um, that elastic to hold these scissors pretty tightly in the box um, even when it's closed so like that okay so with those in there i'm going to go ahead and uh, tie this pretty tight let's take a look at how that looks easy to get them in and out. That's good. All right. And then maybe I'll give it one more loop. Okay. And I'm going to cut those ends. I'll do the same thing for the needle threader. Let's take a look at that. All right. Now, if you were putting something in um, and you wanted to make sure it didn't move about like this, you could do another um, elastic cord place lower down. Um, but I think this will be okay. It's okay if it falls out. And let me make sure this is not so tight that I can't get it off. I think that seems nice. Let me see. Okay, so I can go that way or I can take it off that way. All right, 
Let me get the sewing box back and we will attach this to the top of the box. That seems nice. And now I will secure this inside there. But before that, I'm going to take the scissors and the, um, oh. Um, I'm going to take the scissors and the threader off. I don't want to accidentally glue them as well. Okay, so I will take my three in one. I'll place this right inside here. And you know what? I think I think that this needs to be up a little bit because I can see that it's pulling. It's not it's not holding it in the right place. So before that glue sets, I'm going to adjust where this ribbon is. I think it needs to be more like up here. Right, this glue is still nice and wet. And I'll replace that. I can't really test it yet, but I think that's a better placement for that brick rack. So let me t show you some of the things that I'll put inside this box to make it a sewing kit while that's um, setting, the glue is setting. Um, this is just a hooped uh, piece of linen ready to be embroidered for a project and then i have a pin cushion that i can make sure has lots of uh, pins and needles in it and um, then also here's a spool uh, it's a vintage spool that i've just put lengths of um, my favorite embroidery floss colors in uh, and then as well as the scissors and the uh, needle threader i think that's a nice uh, place to start now um, i'll put that aside and I'm going to show you the fun idea I have for decorating this box. To decorate this sewing box, I'm going to use these um, sweet little die cuts that I uh, made using um, two dies, die sets from thegreetery.com. Uh, one of the die sets uh, is called so vintage die here's the assembly guide for it it makes this uh, wonderful sewing machine um, here i've made that and uh, it comes with a stamp set and this part of the stamp set so uh st stamps this gold part that i gold embossed i heat embossed this with gold um, powder um, and then you can add a, a sentiment to it. I added the word so lovely, S-E-W, lovely. Uh, you're so kind, so and stitch, so fine and handmade, all fit, could fit there. Um, I heat emboss that with gold. And then that's this um, die set here. And then all of these others are part of a die set called um, Notionable Dies. These are from thegreetery.com. I'll show you the logo, thegreetery.com. It's one of my favorite um, die and stamp uh, companies. I just really love, um, I love all the things that they make. Um, it's a little bit fiddly. If you don't like small parts, if you don't like fiddling with the small things, you might not love this, but I, I really love um, just putting things together like this. Um, so the pin cushion um, and the thread, uh, is all cut using um, this paper that I found when I was th searching for velvet paper. Um, I um, I found this. I got it from um, Amazon, but it, there are other places where it's available too. Um, it's flock coated cardstock. It comes in all of these colors, and it's by Doodlebug Design. 
So I'm going to put these on the box to decorate them. I'm going to put the video now on high speed and you can watch me uh, decorate the box. Okay, so I didn't end up using um, this uh, needle card as um, a pen card as sweet as it is uh, and have a few extra things, but I really like how this uh, turned out. Um, and uh, they do have a little bit of dimension, so they might get a little bit beat up uh, depending on how uh, much this box is used. Um, but I really like how that turned out. Here's one side and there's the other. Um, and then inside, uh, let's go ahead and outfit it as a sewing box. Okay, so there is one problem um, with this cord. It's not holding. The last box I made, um, I realized I had glued the cord also um, to the side of the box, um, the Rick Rack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, just real quick. So I'm going to clamp that in place um, while that glue sets, but you can see what a better job that is doing of holding it um, upright. And um, now let me put everything in it. Uh, first, I'll put the scissors there. Okay. And then the needle threader. a little tricky to get it in. Okay, there. And then uh, pin cushion, the floss, and the hooped fabric. And then uh, all that's left to do is add some needles uh, to the pin cushion. And I think this is ready to give as a sweet um, sewing box uh, ready for uh, someone, especially somebody just starting out with embroidery, a, a child, this would be a great gift for them. Or it could be great for um, if you wanted to have a sewing project ready to go, maybe keep it in the car for the carpool line or um, just on the go uh, next to your favorite chair so you'd have it all ready to go. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project and um, watching how this came together. Hey, if you like this project and want to see more like it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Take care.